Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about AM workflow. AM workflow allow you to automate your task. It can be a task or it can be a series of tasks performed in order. These tasks are most commonly performed on content, means pages and assets. In this tutorial, I'll talk about the basic building block of a workflow. The different section of workflow you should know before creating a workflow. So let's understand the workflow. To create workflow, first you have to create a workflow model. This is the heart of your workflow. This workflow model contains a series of steps. Each step can perform a specific task and it contains a complete functionality. You can reuse this step in any of the workflow. There are number of the steps available and comes with out of box with AEM. But if you want, you can create your own step as well. If you have a series of tasks, you can achieve that using these steps, using the one step or a combination of steps. Once you create this model, this model is stored at two places in your repository. One is design, which is stored at con folder. Basically, this is the design. Another one, it's stored in where workflow folder. Okay, this is basically the runtime model. So the first one contain design and second one contain a runtime model. When your workflow execute, this runtime model is used. Now let's talk about these steps. These steps are of four kind, mainly four type. One is container step. When you want to trigger another model or another workflow from this workflow, suppose you want to execute or trigger any child workflow for that purpose you use container step participant step when you want a human interaction in your workflow when you assign a some task to someone for that purpose you use participant step decision step when you have to perform any task based on a condition means if else condition mainly when you need a branching in your workflow then you use decision step. Basically, these are two type or an end. Process step. If you have ever know about workflow and if you ever uh, go to any interview, everyone ask about the custom process, custom workflow process. So these custom workflow processes are used using the process step. We have n number of the process. So if you write your own custom process, so you will be using that process using this process step. So once you created this model, you should call this model, right? So there's a mainly three ways, the other ways as well, but I'll discuss these main three ways. One is launcher. When you want to automate the trigger of this workflow, then you create a launcher. For example, suppose you want to perform some task based on the page creation to that page. So you create a launcher and define a condition there. We'll see that in detail. Like whenever the page create some task to be performed. So basically for that automated stuff, you create a launcher using API or code. When you want to trigger this workflow using code, you can trigger this workflow in any backend module like in uh, servlet, scheduler, sling model, service. You can trigger this workflow using API or the code. Third one is most simple part is manual. So you have a console means you in AEM, you can trigger this workflow manually. And when you combine all these things together, this logically called a workflow, AEM workflow. So this is the complete AM workflow. If you did not understand, you should not worry about. So I'll cover each and every section of this workflow in a separate tutorial. So I'll cover all the basics of workflow in five to six tutorial. So once these tutorials are over, you will have all the understanding of workflow. I hope you understand this, the basic concept of workflow and building block. If you have any question, Please do comment. Thank you.